in our house. Thank you very much. Big Jack, a giant of the footballing world and the only fella ever to be a national treasure in both England and Ireland. Unbelievable. How are you, Jack? I'm fine. Thank good. you very much, yes. Oh, good, yes. good, good, good. Now, Jack, I'm getting on a bit. I'm a bit old now, but... Uh, no. Well, jeez, no, you're looking well to yourself. You're, you're looking know. great. You're now, looking Jack, great. obviously we're going to talk about Jackie's army back in the 90s, right? But yes. where you got within, God, I suppose, a gee hair of the World Cup final. <laughs> But let's talk about your footballing years when you yourself actually won the Feckin' World Cup against the Krauts in 1966. What is it actually like to be part of the England, you know, winning the World Cup? Winning it. Winning. I was very lucky, actually. I came into the team only about 18 months before we actually went into the World Cup. Oh, all right. And uh, I'd played, only made about three or four international matches and played, and yeah. then we... We, we uh, went into the World Cup and played in all the six games yeah. and finished up in the final. And, uh, I mean, I couldn't play. I mean, everybody looks at me and they right. say, you, you, you're not as good as your brother, Bob. Yeah. And I go, no, I couldn't play, but I was very good at stopping other people playing. Nicely ah. done. You see? It was a tough game, though, wasn't it, the final oh, against tough the... game, tough game. I mean, uh, the, the competition had been a bit tough as well. Yeah. Right, you know, when right, we played right. Argentina yeah. and we played uh, France and... We, we, it, there were a few times when I got kicked when I was on the ground and things, but the you just get up and kick them back. That's yeah. the way to do it. That's the way to do That's it. That's the way yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. But it, no. was, it must be fantastic, though, winning it, though. Because, frankly, it's never going to happen again. No. So... I would, I would, yeah, I would agree with you. I mean, yeah, the way right. things are happening in England... The way things are happening in England now in football, yeah. we've got... Um, so many players coming from abroad to play mm. that young players coming through are not getting the opportunity to go on and, and show how good they are. Make uh, the way um, up the ladder, yeah. That's right. Mm. Uh, but Jack, also as well, look, let's be honest. The game's changed and playing for your country, well, it's a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It, 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 there's a few of the clubs that are getting a little bit annoyed about that now, but that's mainly because... I read in the paper a couple of years ago and it said that on that particular Saturday there were only 36 players from the Premiership in England who qualified to play in the England team. Yeah. It's only 36, 36. Jesus, which yeah. is incredible. I mean, and it's got even worse since then. If you look right. at the, the top four in the league, the, you know, the totally, totally foreign players. That's right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. It's a different yeah. game altogether. Oh, it's a different game altogether. Yeah, they're sort of... I, I get annoyed because, you know, people used to say to me, you're the one that used to play the long ball game. I never played the long ball game. If the, if the pass was on, it was good. If there was a pass that you had to kick long right. and it had to give you an opportunity, you've yeah. got to do that as well. Yeah. And uh, we played what you call... Well, we played a game where we, we put people under pressure. Yeah. Uh, yes. Put him under pressure. Everybody put him under pressure. Put him under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> now the way, the way you do that is you play. You, when they get the ball, you don't drop off them. You go towards them. Right. Right. Mm. Argy bargy. Understand that? And it's, <clears throat> it's very <clears throat> simple. Yeah. And you go. Yeah. 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 Right. <clears throat> like that. <laughs> no, not like that. Oh. Well, listen, you signed for Leeds back in '52. '52. Right? When they were good. Oh, I yeah. went at, I was yeah. 15 when I went. Yeah, what? 15. I was 15, I went at 15, and uh, it, there comes a day, you see, you're on what you call the ground staff. Right. And there comes a time when you... You've got... The, the club have got to make... Had to make a decision between you. When you was, on the day you were 17, they either had to say, no, we don't want right. to sign you, right. or yes, we want you're to in. sign you yeah. professional. Mm. Gotcha. Mm. And I went in to see our fella, Rhys Carter, who was a manager at the time, and said, yeah, we've got to sign you. Oh, oh right. good. Which I was tr terrific, terrific. So Just give me a contract, 17. which everybody had the same contract. How and much on the you? How, how much were you getting a week? Because you were on a wage, uh, weren't you? They he put said, you on the wage. He said, you're on... I looked at the sheet and it said on the bottom, yeah. 20 and 18, which meant that I got 20 pound and 18 in the summer. So 20, 20 pound when you were playing and 18 when you were off. Yeah, but then there was a couple of quid on for bonus and things yeah. if you would. Wait, hold on, 20 quid. And I said to him, but this is first team money. Yeah. All right. And he said, yeah, the boss said to give it to you. So you're on first team. And I thought, I must be a good player. Yeah. Well, hold on a second. That's so, quite... so I went across the road to a shop that sold sweeties. We used to go and get yeah. my sweeties there. Yeah. And the lad behind the desk, John, he said, uh, have you signed? I said, aye. He said, thank God for that. He said, I've had half the football league in here waiting to see if they'd signed you or not. <laughs> and that was the first inkling I had that I could be a good player. 
So wait, you got 18 quid a week on yes. season, was it? And it made me debut at 17. Nine. 18 Brilliant. quid though, Jack. Uh, Beckham couldn't get his arse waxed for that. No. Do you think the money now's got out of hand? All the money's got ridiculous. I mean, that is well in 50 you, million a week. There was one player, I don't know, I'm not going to mention his name, there was one player arguing that he wanted 110,000 a week rather than 100. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that a player's on 50 10? grand a week. They're not all on that, but yeah. a lot of them are. A lot of them are. And it, uh, it is ridiculous. Yeah. Jack, between ourselves. It's ridiculous. Between ourselves, Jack. So How do you feel about these foreigners buying the clubs? Um, I think we've changed our game. The game has changed. I think we've changed our game. I went to see Newcastle play about 18 months ago. Right. I've been since, but about 18 months ago. And we were sat in the crowd, and I, the game kicked off, and uh, the Newcastle player knocked it to him, he knocked it back to him, right. he knocked it back right. to the fullback, who back. knocked it to the winger, who right. come back yeah. down the line. Yeah. Who knocked it to the centre forward, who knocked it back to the midfield yeah. player, who gave it to yeah. the winger. Who knocked it back to back the fullback because he's under yeah. pressure. Right under pressure. Who gave it back to the goalkeeper who humped the ball up the park. And you went, well, why didn't he do that in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> we call that, Jack, we call that going, the game's gone to shite. That's, That's what right. we call it. Yes. Come here. What are, we've got to talk serious now. Irish, the Irish manager. Yeah. Why do you think Staunton made such a shite manager? <laughs> why uh, do you think he was so bad for us? What? Staunton. Staunton, as a manager. S Stephen, well, he's a young lad. He, 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 he knows the business a little bit. He knows how uh, about, about the play. But you've got to be a little bit more... I mean, he, he didn't know well enough and he didn't know how to approach things yeah. and, and, and that. But he would have learned all of that, but they didn't give him time. Yeah. They do that in England now. There's managers get the jobs, and with three months later, they get the sack. And they haven't even had time to put the, what they think and how they want to play yeah. on the field. Yeah. But the public and the press want rid of them. Look, Jack, Jack, will yeah. you come back? Will you not come back? Come on, Jack. Come on. Not come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. No, 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 no. You're not, le you're not leading me What's in the lap. You're not leading me in the lap. Now, listen, time. we all remember Italian 90, right? The golden age of Irish football. Yeah. A bit like when JFK was shot when the Twin Towers were hit and when Billy died in Fair City. We all remember where we were in June 1990 and yeah. that penalty shootout with Romania. Jack, Ooh, let's right. take a walk down memory lane. Have a look right. at this. Have a look now. Here we go. Tony Cascarino's going forward. Should he miss this and the final Romanian kick be struck home, then Ireland are out. Talk about pressure. Cascarino against this fella. Oh, yes. We can breathe again. Timopte against Bonner. Yep. The big man from Donegal has set it up. This kick can decide it all. The nation holds its breath. Yes, we're there! Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, no. oh.